Now we're going to talk about the all new beading in Wacom Embroidery Studio E45. Now beading is a brand new decoration method that we've introduced to Embroidery Studio to complement our ordinary embroidery plus sequin capability. Now very similar to sequin, we've given you the ability to set up a beading palette that lets you define not only the shape of the bead, but also the color, and also the size of the bead as well. And as you can see in my bead palette, I have four different beads configured for my beading design. Now we have various methods of using beads in our software. The first one is the bead auto run, that when selected, I can just simply do a shape on screen and it will create my beading design. And in this case, it's placing a bead every 12 millimeters along my design, which is exactly the spacing I have here. Or I can change it down to four and now it's specifying it every four millimeters. So that's the beading auto run. And of course we have the bead manual run that it will only place a bead everywhere that I place my mouse click. And again, along each of those clicks, it has placed an individual bead. Now let's go back to my first beading object, this one that I've created here. With this beading object, I have a lay down bead that is sewing along and dropping a bead along that design line. So dropping a bead, dropping a bead, dropping a bead, and sewing it down along my path as such. And again, if I select that bead object, I can change the spacing, make it be three millimeters, for example. And I even have a choice of the type of bead I want it to be, either bead A, B, C, or the D style bead. Again, the exact same beads that I've configured here inside my bead palette. Let's take this back to A. Now, in addition to this uh, lay down bead fixing method that is sewing along the bead line of my bead object, I can select from a collection of different fix down stitches that we have built into the software. So here we have the classic lay down bead or the second bead fixing stitch. And I can increase my width a little bit to space that out. Or I have a decorative fixing stitch such as this method here, which creates a very decorative pattern along the edge of my bead. Or this method here, or this method, or this method. And each of these fixing stitches are a decorative style of bead fixing. So not just a standard plain flat, but very decorative fixing methods to create really decorative designs on your machine. Now, if we look at this particular bead fixing pattern, we can start along here and we can see that this spacing is set to four millimeters. So every four millimeters, we're placing down a new bead evenly along the line. And that comes to be a bit of a problem though. When we come around the corner, this part here looks okay. It's a nice even spacing. But as we come down here and start to turn into the corner, we can see that that four mil spacing is creating a bunched set of beads along here which are running into each other. So we have some settings to control that. And at the moment, I have my spacing set to be along the baseline, which means every four millimeters along the baseline, it is dropping a single bead. If I change this to be between the shape, and then set my spacing to be one millimeter between each shape, it is now evenly spacing my beads that on the closed corner, each bead is one millimeter spacing away from each other. One millimeter, one millimeter, one millimeter. And when we come around the corner, at this point, it is still one millimeter along here. And then on the inner curve, it jumps over to here 
and now this spacing is evenly one millimeter spacing and then on the opposite curve it flips back and it goes from one millimeter over here one millimeter one millimeter one millimeter along the entire line giving you a clean visual representation of that spacing now in addition to this single bead along my pattern I can add a second bead and make it B a third bead and make it C and a fourth bead and make it D not only do I have to have the bead be different but each bead can have a different fixing stitch the first bead can maybe be a uh, round fixing stitch the second bead could be the pattern bead and the third fixing stitch could be let's just say number four standing out on the side so every single bead along my pattern can have a unique fixing stitch really opening up the creative capabilities that you can do with our brand new beading feature now in addition to the automatic beading run that you see me do here on screen I can also manually create beading designs as well using the manual bead tool now with the manual bead tool you can digitize your designs just like you would on screen manually creating a stitch creating a stitch dropping a bead stitch stitch drop bead stitch stitch drop bead and stitch and as you go along it will create that beading design for you you can even force it to do a lay down bead by sewing along sewing drop the bead sew back sew back and continue and now it creates a lay down bead so you're free to create any type of bead design you want sew back sew back and continue and it will create all the designs and styles that you want as if you're designing it manually on screen using the bead tool and also while you digitize along you can change what bead you want to do by pressing the tab key and drop bead drop bead and drop bead and again it will create each one of those designs and manually drop the bead as you want it to do on screen now the beading feature is available as an add-on element for your embroidery studio e 4.5 and can be used in addition to your standard embroidery and sequin capabilities